I've known Donna Brazil since the early 90s. She's been involved with pretty much every presidential campaign for the last two generations. She's got a lot of scars from the last election because of the attack into the DNC. President Trump goes after her all the time to this day. I like to consider myself as somebody who is open-minded and even if I disagree with someone, I want to learn from them. But I think it's fair to say I'm struggling. I'm not just resistant. I'm having a hard time adjusting to the fact that Donald Trump is president. I see Donald Trump as a very revengeful, narcissistic, turbulent individual. He considers me an enemy. The Russians got the DNC emails and exposed you, not just not just in violating your privacy, but hurting hurting you professionally, right? Yeah. It seemed like the president for the, during the campaign and early on was courting Vladimir Putin. Now they seem to have broken up. Or do you think there's more to it than that? I think the president uh, was clearly misinformed, not just of Putin, Putin's intentions, but the fact is, is that President Putin is a rattlesnake. And I'm not saying that you know President Trump isn't, but you, he's a rattlesnake. He's going to bite you. Uh, no question about it. So are you glad to see the president seeming to get tougher on Russia? I don't know if the president's getting tough on Russia. I, what is the Trump doctrine? I mean, is it, this week it's tough on Russia, next week it, it might be back to praising Putin as a strong leader. Right. I don't know. But it is the case, right? And this is what the president constantly refers to. You had proprietary information that you had because of your position at CNN that you shared with the Clinton campaign, right? I had, no. I, I got to keep repeating. I never had access to nor did I ever request access to any proprietary information from CNN. I would never do that. You recently wrote that you regret sending the emails to the Clinton folks. I said I regret that in, in the course of what happened that many people did not see the emails that I sent to Sanders and others. You didn't send the same information to Senator Sanders oh, in, that, in that case. Oh, in let that me, case. Have, have, you, have you talked to anybody in the Sanders campaign? I have. I They're very, they fair. like I you was, very much. I, I, but, was, I was fair to everybody. Where did you get the information you sent in those now famous emails? Well, you have to read my book. Donald Trump, every day that he went after me, with the bogus lies and misinformation, people assumed that he was telling the truth. And so they, you know, I got the calls, I got the emails, I got the packages of things that I didn't know what the hell it was coming into my, my home and my, my office. He put my life at risk. The President of the United States, former candidate, put my life at risk. So I, 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 tr I tried to bury the hatchet. Right. I, I try all the time because I'm a, I'm a Christian and I believe in, in forgiveness. I just don't think that Donald Trump uh, shares my views on that. Does the Republican Party seem unified to you now? Oh, no, no. They've been, they've been disoriented. Watching Republicans is like watching a, a, perpet, a perpetual train wreck. And everybody knows the Republicans are about just power. They're not about governing. I think Democrats are better off today keeping their distance to not try to come to the middle unless Donald Trump uh, reaches out and puts some carrots on the table. What's on the positive side for the Democrats now? We, we can come back. We did. We, we've done it before. We came back after 2004. Down so low, there's nowhere to go but up. Oh, uh, there's nowhere to go but up. <laughs>